We're currently at Whitefish Point in probably one of the most northeastern parts of the Upper Peninsula. This is sort of what's known as the Shipwreck Coast. There's Because of the way the water and the wind and just everything falls up here, it's been a lot of shipwrecks over the years have happened out in the waters that we'll you know, show you in a minute. Uh, including the famous wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, which isn't too far off the coast out here. Here at Whitefish Point, you actually have the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum, which tells the history of a lot of those famous shipwrecks and includes artifacts from the different ships that have you know, sunk over the years in the lakes around Michigan. You've also got the Whitefish Point Coast Guard Station. And during the summer, actually, I think it said April through November, you have the chance to actually stay here and you can sleep overnight at the station. So check that out if that's something you're interested in. While we're currently here in January, it is closed, so everything you see here is boarded up for the season. But we have been here in the summer, and it is really cool to take a look at the different artifacts, learn a bit of history, uh, learn how many ships have been sunk in the Great Lakes over the centuries. It's just amazing. And sometimes you can even see some of those old shipwrecks out in the water at different points of the year when the water levels are lower. So that's always just kind of cool to see a living piece of history. Whitefish Point is directly north of the town of Paradise. If you are staying at the Tequamanon Falls State Park in the Lower Falls area campgrounds, it's about 22 miles, and it's going to take you about half an hour, according to Google Maps. But, of course, that is dependent on the type of vehicle you're driving, the time of year that you're driving the road, and various conditions from slippery roads to nice dry roads in the summer that are packed with other tourists. So just something to keep in mind that you might want to leave yourself some time. Plus, it's a really beautiful road. So if you have the time, don't rush. Use the opportunity to get some really nice views of the lake, see some of the trees, see some of the natural beauty of the Upper Peninsula on what can be a pretty relaxing drive overall. If you are there in the winter, one other thing to keep in mind is the snowmobiles. When they are out off the trails, they can drive on the road, and the best way to get to the point, and probably the only way to get to Whitefish Point, is on the road, which is legal in the Upper Peninsula, so keep an eye out. The parking lot is quite large, and it is a little deceiving in the winter because it seems wide open and there's plenty of space. In the summer, it's a lot more packed. I've heard tales of people having to park out on the main road and hike it in quite a ways before they can actually get to the parking lot, let alone out to the point. The boardwalk and the beach that are out there are both really nice, give you a nice view of the beach and Lake Superior. If you're there in the winter, we recommend bundling up and heading out onto the frozen landscape of the beach because you are going to get to see some things firsthand that just are incredibly beautiful and really hard to describe. One of the cool things about being on the frozen landscape of a beach on Lake Superior in January is you get a feel for the awesome power of the wind and the waves and the cold and there's just so many things going on on this beach that you see with the driftwood and the ice balls and the frozen logs and the icicles. It's just really, really impressive to see what Mother Nature can cook up with some really cold temperatures. You look like you're out here surveying the uh, great sea before you. Yeah, it's just really cool. It's actually in years past, it's been a lot more frozen further out. Uh, so you can just kind of tell how, you can tell how it hasn't been as cold here this winter. Um, Cause there's usually a lot more icebergs also that are floating out here and you can see a little bit of patches, but it's just so cool how the ice forms over and over again on the lake.
been wired in the add water coming in and the good ship and crew was in peril and later that night when his lights went out of sight came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald 